Now let us talk about the Arch of Titus, which is in Rome, Italy. It was built in 82 AD. It is 50 feet tall and 45 feet wide. It was built by Emperor Domitian in 82 AD to commemorate his father Vespasian, who was the general that began putting down the Jewish revolt in the 60s. And then he became emperor. His son Titus then continued as general up until the destruction of Jerusalem in 70 AD. We know uh, details of these events through the writings of Flavius Josephus, who became part of that family, the Flavian dynasty, Flavius Josephus. And as we look here, we see at the top of the arch, it says the Senate and the people of Rome to honor Titus Vespasian Augustus, the deified one and the deified Vespasian. Domitian uh, built this to honor the deification of his brother Titus, who had died in 81 AD. But what is most interesting about the Arch of Titus is on the inside panels as you go and walk through. And on one side, you see the parade that was done in the summer of 71 AD that they bring back the temple artifacts back to Rome. And we can see them carrying the menorah from the temple. We see temple artifacts. We see trumpets here. And you can see the weight of these items as they're being carried upon the shoulders of these being carried back. On the other side of the wall, you would see uh, Vespasian and Titus and members of the Senate following them. And they would be riding in their chariots with their crown laurel wreaths upon their heads, symbolizing victory and power. This is notable because this confirms the accounts that we know about. And it remained uh, many, many years in disrepair. And in the Renaissance, they recognized the importance of the uh, monument to the Christian faith and also to the Jewish faith. And they had it restored, and the architect that restored it intentionally made the restored areas uh, brighter in a different material so you could see that that was uh, the part that was restored. The Colosseum was built by Vespasian from the spoils of the, Jew the Jewish war and the destruction of Jerusalem. There was so much wealth that was taken out of Jerusalem by the Romans that it allowed Vespasian to build the Colosseum. And it had the statue of the god Colossus there by the Colosseum. And that's who it's named for. And then by that entrance into the Colosseum, these artifacts were built and put on permanent display and remained there until the fall of Rome. When Rome fell, there are two stories. One is the people of Rome tried to save these artifacts and they carried them as far as the river Tiber and ended up throwing them into the river. The other story is, is the invading armies captured these things and, and melted them down. We don't know what happened to them after that, but it shows the complete destruction of the old mosaical system, uh, these would have been the last remnants of that. 